I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is May 18th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be setting elevation lines, contour lines in Idea Spectrum's real time landscaping software. Okay, before we begin, you probably want to go check out this video. This is done by the uh, Idea Spectrum guys, real time landscaping architecture contour lines. You may want to go watch their video. Pretty good video showing what's going on. But also to this point, it says Architect. Now, I bought the software, and if you'll see here, there's a couple different versions, Plus, Pro, and Architect. I bought the Architect because I want to do a bunch of landscaping in my backyard. And this may be only applicable to the, to the Architect version because we have here Advanced Terrain Sculpting Tools. And if you ever hover over here, we have Contour Lines and Elevation Import Wizard. So uh, you can download them for free and test them out. So if, if you need this, you need this, but you may not need this. I need this because my backyard has a lot of slopes and I really want to see them. So what I've done is we bought a house last year, and with that, we have all kinds of drawings. In fact, we have elevation drawings, so this is really convenient. So what I have done is I've taken the elevation drawings and some Google Maps and kind of put everything together so that I can use this to trace over. So with that, let me go open up an example here that I have, and let me go move this. So we actually have this there. Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is start to draw some terrain. So here I can go click on terrain and I can go click on contour lines. And I may have to cheat here a little bit. Let me go pull this back up because the image you pull in is only so detailed. So like this number down here is a 16. I can see it over here to my side, but it's kind of hard to read there. But what you can do is hit contour lines and you can just start to draw. So here I know this is 16. So I'll just click, left click, left click. And I can kind of just start following the lines they gave me and I can go out to here and then I can probably right click here and kind of right click ends it so I hit right click there and over here I'll say this should be 16 feet according to my map and then I'll go do another contour line we got this one right here it's kind of nice when you can cheat like this and they've already gotten all the contours there for you click on that and we'll say 15 feet and we'll just kind of keep doing all this and I got another one right here that's 14 feet and we'll keep going oh another thing that I just didn't do I forgot to do let me fix myself here, right click, stop that, and that one should be 18 feet, right? Let's see, 14, 15, 16, I got 17, 17 feet, right? Boom. <clears throat> what I should do is I can have different layers. So I've put this overlay, I'll call it overlay. I can do that, but I should probably make another layer. So I put all my, I could put, I can organize it that way. So I can say uh, contour, contour layer. And then what I can do is the ones I've already made, I can click on that, right click and say move to layer and move to the contour layer. It just makes it easier to hide and move things around. Contour layer, move to contour layer, and then make sure I'm working on the contour layer from now on. Okay, now let me see. Oh, I probably messed this one up. Let me see. Edit points. Kind of closed that in there, didn't you? So we will insert a point right there. I just kind of want to move that out of the way. Then I can come down here and start hitting this one. And that comes around here roughly. Close that one off. Oh, I forgot to mark how high that was. Boom. And this one right here, last one we did should be, oh, let me click on it. Click on that one, that should be 19 feet, 19 feet. And then we click on this one, it should be 18 feet, boom. Now I can go to perspective view and we should see that there is 
it might be hard to see, but there is a slope there. But it might it's easier to do if, if we have these layers. So I can click on these layers and I can say hide the contour, sorry, hide the overlay layer. And now we can more easily see our lines. And we can see how it kind of slopes up there. It's a little easier once you get a building on there, do some stuff, but there are our contour lines and it has changed our thing. Also, we can click on these. I believe we can say label options. There we go. I think we can show, show the units. There we go. Show the units. There we go. So we can click on each one and we can see that that is 17 feet, 16, 18 feet, 19 feet. In fact, I think you can change them a little bit. Well, you can change the font, I guess, if you really want to. Um, but that's another nice thing. So now that I've done this in a different layer, the layer could still apply. So what I can do is if I want to get rid of those contour lines for some reason, I can go hide this and I still have my contour. It's kind of hard to see with nothing there. In fact, maybe should, I should put something on there. Let me add another layer. Add a layer. Call it a house layer. Let's just go draw a house here. So we'll bring back the overlay so I'm in the right spot. Let's just draw a house. Go to the building here, and we'll just quickly, not very well, I'll just draw a real quick house. So at least it's much easier to see the contours if something is there. And then we'll put a fence around it so it's easier to see too. We'll say fence, 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 and right click. And now I got a fence. Now if I go to perspective, I can see that. And we will hide the overlay, bring back the contour lines for a second. Oh, oh I put my house in the... I didn't, I put my house in the wrong layer. <laughs> Let me click on, right click on my house and say move to the house layer. Oh, the perspective. Mess that up. Huh? Move to layer, house. Choose my fence, move to layer, house. Okay, now let's see what we can do. Now let's hide the overlay. There we go. And now we can kind of see we got that. We got the little slope here. And if I go over here and I remove the contour lines, the contours will still be applied. But now I just don't see the lines. So that's kind of a nice little thing. There you go. You can kind of see how it goes down there. Anyway, there you go. That's how you can uh, uh, use, use those contour lines. Very useful tool. I'm liking it. Works really well for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver. Or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.